Welcome to the ultimate clash of monsters that would probably hate each other if they existed in the same universe. Okay, that's a that's a mouthful, but we're still working on it. Maybe you should come up with a better name for us, huh? This time we have ourselves quite the fight, folks. In the green corner, we got the Rage Machine, the strongest Avenger, the undefeated champion of Sakaar, the Incredible Hulk. And his opponent, he's an ancient being, a terrifying shapeshifter, the dancing clown Pennywise, also known as It. Who will win? Will Hulk be defeated by fear, or will the rage of the green monster prove too much for the clown? We'll find out as we are ready to rumble! Ah, Derry, Maine. Such a nice town. Well, other than all those strange disappearances and killings, there's something in this town. An ancient cosmic evil. A being that arrived on Earth millions of years ago from a realm known as the Macroverse. This evil creature is known as It. All of this is a new information for Bruce Banner, who had arrived at Derry in search of this so-called World Eater. Banner knows a thing or two about monsters, and he came to stop the shape-shifting clown once and for all. But Pennywise has noticed this strange intruder. He's very intrigued with what's inside this human, a power that it never felt before, and he wants to feed on it. But before we begin this monster brawl, let's see who's the favorite going into the fight, and what each of our combatants could use to get the upper hand. When it comes to strength, we don't need to tell you how strong the Hulk really is. His physical strength is limitless, and it grows the angrier he gets. As the World Breaker Hulk, the Green Rage monster was so strong that he destroyed an entire planet with his fists. As long as the Hulk's angry, he's unstoppable. Its strength is less defined, but the creature has superhuman strength and speed. However, there aren't many impressive examples of his true strength. Hulk is extremely durable, being able to take a tremendous amount of punishment without even flinching. He's also able to regenerate health within seconds. It'll take a lot to bring Hulk down. Pennywise is immortal and pretty much unkillable. To truly kill him, you need to follow very specific cosmic laws. While at times he can be wounded, he can regenerate health extremely quickly. However, his shape-shifting does exert energy, something that weakens him. While Hulk usually uses his fists to solve most of his problems, he has some useful abilities on his side as well. Hulk can move with superhuman speed and resist mind control to a certain degree. Hulk can even adapt to any hostile environment, including being able to breathe in space. Pennywise's go-to ability is his shape-shifting. It can mimic any form or shape he chooses. The Eater of Worlds can also create physical illusions and hallucinations. With his telepathic powers, he can see what's in his victims' minds and use their greatest fears against them. There's very little that this clown can't do. While in his classic form, Hulk behaves like an angry child, there are versions of Hulk that are brilliant, like Grey Hulk and Professor Hulk. However, Bruce Banner's the true brains of the operation. Banner is very observant, cunning, and can deal with many situations through sheer logic alone. Pennywise's intelligence is very inconsistent. On one hand, he's a master manipulator who feeds on fear, so he uses his abilities to terrorize his victims. He usually chooses children as his victims who are easier prey than adults. However, its arrogance usually leads to his defeat. No one really knows just how old It really is, but he has been around for a very long time. While he is very powerful, like we said before, his usual victims are children and regular humans, so he doesn't have the best battle XP. The Hulk, on the other hand, faced all kinds of foes in his time, and he usually comes out on top. While Hulk's rage gives him limitless power, it can also be his biggest downfall. When Hulk goes berserk, he tends to completely lose control, which often results in Hulk destroying anyone and anything in his path. While Hulk is resistant to mind control, depending on his rage, he can be psychically manipulated by exceptionally powerful telepaths, such as It. Forget about Black Widow's lullaby, all it takes is one look at Betty Ross, Bruce's true love, and the Hulk reverts back to Banner. The love Bruce feels for Betty is so strong that it's one of the only things that can calm the Hulk down. Hulk is also affected by Banner's greater fear, his father. 
Brian Banner was a terribly abusive and violent parent who hated his own son. Those memories still traumatize Bruce and the Hulk. When it comes to Pennywise's weaknesses, you can't forget that he was defeated by a bunch of kids known as the Losers Club. His arrogance and narcissism are ultimately his downfall. It must obey the rules and limitations of the form he takes. The only way to kill Pennywise in Stephen King's novel is through the ritual of Chud, which is very weird and confusing. But as we saw in both hit films, Pennywise can be defeated by other means. It feeds on fear, and the lack of it mixed with verbal abuse will cause the shapeshifter to turn into a weak baby-like creature. If his heart is destroyed, it will die. It's important to add that Bruce Banner has no clue about the ritual of Chud, which is a clear disadvantage going into this battle, meaning that the Hulk will need to find another way to defeat it. As our fighters are about to enter the CBR ring, let's take one last look at the tail of the tape. Since its power levels aren't as clear-cut as the Hulk's, the green monster has the advantage. Health goes to Pennywise, but Hulk is close behind. It also has an advantage in terms of abilities. Intelligence goes to Hulk due to Bruce Banner's brain. Experience goes to the Hulk since the green monster has a lot more battles under his belt. Both fighters are almost tied when it comes to weaknesses, but Pennywise has the advantage here. We've got a very close fight here, folks. What will win in the end, fear or rage? Which monster will come out on top? We're about to find out. Our combatants are ready to clash, so let them fight! While we were giving you the tale of the tape, Pennywise used his shape-shifting ability and created illusions to draw Banner to a cave underneath the town. This is where it crashed on Earth, and this is where he's at his strongest. The clown shapeshifts into Brian Banner, Bruce's abusive father, and creates illusions, terrifying the scientist with memories of his horrible childhood. Banner didn't expect this. The horror of his childhood hits him like a mallet. The World Eater is sure this battle is over before it's even begun. Banner might have been caught off guard, but he's angry. Always angry, and Pennywise wouldn't like him when he's angry. The shapeshifter retreats, not ready to face the monster head-on just yet. He must first play his games, which might cost him dearly later on. It changes its tactics. Instead of trying to overpower the Hulk physically, he starts playing mind games to mess with the monster, hoping to put fear inside him. Hulk's ready to smash, but it shapeshifts into one of Hulk's greatest enemies, the Red Hulk. Hulk is confused. His hesitation costs him as the Mimic jumps and slams into the Hulk. The two Hulks clash with each blow, creating massive shockwaves. It is able to hit Hulk with some good shots as he uses his superhuman strength and speed to hurt the green monster. He also creates all kinds of illusions, making Hulk believe he's fighting different heroes and villains. They attack him from every direction, overwhelming the monster. The shapeshifter knows that in this state of mind, Hulk is easier to succumb to his mind games. However, Hulk is fresh, and this sudden attack makes him very angry. Instead of fear, Hulk feels only pure green rage. Hulk strongest! While Hulk smashes all the illusions in his path, it shapeshifts into a new form, the Mad Titan Thanos. Hulk is shocked. He has some very bad memories of Thanos, folks. It wastes no time attacking Hulk with all of his might. There's a part of him that's afraid of the Mad Titan, and this makes it stronger. But fear soon turns into anger as Hulk goes berserk, attacking the fake Titan with all of his rage and power. The shape-shifting takes its toll on Pennywise, and getting hurt causes him to turn into a giant spider-like creature. The clown spider hybrid fights back, trying to use his own power against the green monster, but Hulk is so angry now, so it decides to use his secret weapon. It opens his mouth and uses the dead lights inside to paralyze the Hulk. It tries to steal Hulk's soul and entrap him within the dead lights. Somehow, some way, Hulk is able to withstand the cosmic power that is thrown upon him as he grabs a sharp object and throws it at the giant spider clown. Hulk's rage is at peak now, and the monster jumps in the air to smash it once and for all. 
Pennywise teleports away at the very last second and the Hulk hits the ground with unbelievable force. That Hulk smash is so strong that it causes the entire town of Derry to shake. It's a good thing the Avengers evacuated all the town's residents before the fight started. It understands that he underestimated Hulk's power, rage, and durability. And so it uses one final mind game, transforming into a new shape. Is it a new monster? No, it's the most important person in Hulk's world, Betty Ross. I need you to stop fighting. It's time to rest. Everything's going to be all right, I promise. Betty. Bruce finds himself on the ground alone as a terrifying horror hovers above him. It opens his mouth again, getting ready to show Banner those deadlights and feed on him once and for all. But throughout the battle, Bruce learns something very important. It feeds on fear. He needs his victims to be afraid. Fear is the key. Banner uses his greatest power, his mind. He shows the world eater that he's not afraid of him. Banner doesn't see a monster in front of him, but some sad clown, a measly mimic, a loner who's desperate for attention. Bruce Banner knows what real fear is. He felt it as a child being abused by his own father. He felt it as an adult afraid of the Hulk's carnage, and he knows how to fight back against fear. He uses his wits to fight back, using words to throw it off of his game. He makes the clown feel weak and small. It doesn't understand what's happening. Without any fear to feed upon, it is now powerless. Banner's words and rage turned it into a small, weak creature. Banner transforms all of his anger and frustration into pure rage and uses it to Hulk out once more. But this time, it's a very different Hulk. Banner has turned into World Breaker Hulk. This devastating smash not only turns it into paste, but it completely destroys his heart. And with its heart destroyed, with zero fear to feed upon, its deadlight shut down. And the creature finally fades away. It is over. And here is your winner, the Incredible Hulk! You simply can't put fear into the Hulk and not get smashed. But we have a new problem here, folks. This right here is the World Breaker Hulk, and it'll take someone very powerful to bring this beast down. Who will be able to clash with the Hulk next? Well, you'll soon find out. With Hulk winning this clash of monsters, who will face him next? A Thunder God? A Man of Steel? A Super Saiyan? Let us know down in the comments below, and while you're at it, please subscribe and like this video. It helps so, so much. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next epic CBR battle.